Coach, I'm losing weight, but I'm not losing weight fast enough. And this is something that I often get, and I haven't gotten it much, but out of 50 people, I'll get probably three to five people, especially new people to a belly burn challenge that will say, coach, I'm losing weight, but I'm not losing weight fast enough. So here's an example. One of my clients left the summer challenge. So July 1st, they left the challenge, finished that challenge at 120 pounds. Then they started my fall challenge, which began November 1st at 132 pounds. So that's a 12 pound weight gain, which is about gaining one pound per week. And so if you're gaining one pound per week, that means over a seven day period, you were eating 500 more calories per day. Now it's not super hard to eat 500 calories extra per day. That's literally a large like mocha frappuccino with a couple pumps of caramel. That's like two or three extra cookies that you eat every single day. I mean, to eat that much calories in garbage is pretty tough, but to eat that much calories in good clean calories would be tough because that would be equivalent to almost 10 ounces of chicken breast, which is a lot, with a giant salad. And then even if you had a Diet Coke, you still wouldn't probably wouldn't hit 500 calories. So there's no way that you've been eating the proper calories over the past 12 weeks. So think about that. If the person was gaining 12 pounds, we have to understand that the body just doesn't gain 12 pounds overnight. Never mind holding on to 12 pounds unless you've been consistently overfeeding yourself. And what happens is a body in motion tends to stay in motion. So if you even kept 50% of your habits that you had pre-summer, you should have maintained at least 50% of the results. If you gain 12 pounds over 12 weeks, it's not gonna take 12 days to get it off and keep it off. So we have to keep this all into perspective. If your body was in motion of losing weight, if you did that in four weeks, and if you kept all those habits over the next four weeks, guess what's gonna happen? Your body's gonna continuously lose weight. Now, will it lose as much as you lost in the first four weeks? Probably not because what ends up happening is you probably were in a weight gaining mode prior to the challenge, which then we had to cut a bunch of weight that didn't wanna be on your body. So once your body finds that weight that it's most comfortable with, it's going to not so much plateau, but it's gonna say, okay, let's stay at this weight now, and then let's focus on other areas of this person's body. And so once you hit that weight that is most appropriate for your body and its needs, it's then going to level off the weight and then it's going to start to dig into your fat and your visceral fat. Just recently, I had a female finish a belly burn challenge and this is her third belly burn challenge that she's done in a row. Now, this woman lost about 20, 25 pounds over the course of the first two belly burn challenges and she was consistent in between. So by her third belly burn challenge, she actually only lost about seven to eight pounds, which is still fantastic. But the biggest highlight from this last belly burn challenge is that she dropped 5% body fat. So if this woman weighed 150 pounds, that means that she lost, what, what is that? So three, six, seven and a half pounds pounds of body fat off of her body. And if you've ever seen what five pounds of body fat looks like, it's a lot. And so her body says, you know what? We don't need to lose any more weight. This is a good weight for us. Now let's start dropping some body fat. And at the same time, she dropped 5% body fat. She actually gained 1% muscle. And so she was able to accomplish these results because of the fact that she stayed consistent. Now I get it, nutrition is the toughest part, but she was able to maintain all of those habits that she gained over the four weeks. She still hired a belly burn coach because the belly burn coaches are able to manipulate and direct you in a different way to really focus on the numbers that really matter. So it doesn't necessarily mean that once you start losing the weight and you got all the habits that you don't jump in and do another belly burn because I'm working with people right now that are less focused on losing weight and more focused on dropping their body fat. 
And once we get them to drop their body fat, then we'll start to focus on the muscle. But for you, if you're looking to get it off, keep it off, keep all those habits that you gain. And this way you don't reverse the cycle. And that's what basically happens to most people is that they could lose 10, 15 pounds in a challenge, but then especially times like summer where parties happen, outings happen, we're eating more like calorie rich foods where our body starts to say, okay, we now need to store this food because this person continuously overeats and they're adding more and more calories to their body. These calories got to go somewhere. You can only use so much for, for working out. You can only use so much to store for future workouts. And plus your body's process, like your brain, breathing, eating, all that stuff require calories as well. But above and beyond that, and which is easy for us to do, if you think about it, and if you've tracked your food before, then our body becomes more of a fat store than a fat burner. And so that's why we need to stop the yo-yo cycling. We need to potentially do more belly burns and we need to make this more of a lifestyle versus just a challenge. So if you're looking to get your body revved up and you're looking to build up good habits and you want the support that we provide during a belly burn challenge, then send us an email to north at fitclub.fit and mention that you want in on not just one belly burn, but maybe three so that you too can get results like that woman that dropped 5% body fat.